Hi guys, <laughs> YouTube channel. Um, my name is Shaniqua Robinson. I am the owner of Jesus Girl LLC, the podcast host of JesusGirl.ent. And today I'm coming with a message on this triumphant Tuesday. Glory be to God. Um, he always causes us to triumph. And so I want to give you guys a message that's going to encourage you, that's going to motivate you, that's going to push you in the right direction. Listen, it doesn't matter what you've done. doesn't matter where you come from. doesn't matter where you find yourself at, even currently in your walk. If you make a decision, that's all it takes. That I'm not going to do that anymore. I don't want to live that way anymore. I want to live for God. Then God honors it. And he will blow your mind. And so today I want to highlight a text coming from Luke chapter 19 verses 2. And then we're going to jump down to 8 and read verse 7 and then read down to 9. So 2, 7 through 9. 2, 7 through 9. Read. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. Keep that in mind. He was rich. Verse 7. And when they saw it. They all murmured, saying that he was gone to be guest with the man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus, they knew his reputation. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house, for so much as he is also he also is a son of Abraham, as for the reading of God's most holy word. And so three quick points I want to point out to you. First thing is Zacchaeus. His name means pure and innocent. However, his lifestyle was not reflective of that. And so I want to encourage you that even if you find yourself in a place right now where you're doing things, saying things, behaving in ways that you know God did not create for you to be that way, it's not too late. It's not too late. God sees you, the real you. Bible tells us in the book of Jeremiah that he knew you before he formed you in your mother's womb. So what does that mean? That even though people may know what I've done, even though people may know um, my reputation, know my past, that God knows the real me. He knows my true identity. And so I want to encourage you today that God sees you, the pure you, the innocent version of you. And it's not too late for you to get it right. Second thing. Don't worry about the haters. Don't worry about the skeptics. Don't worry about the people that don't want to see you change and be made better. Glory be to God. Verse 7 states, And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was going to be guest with the man that is a sinner. Now, you would think that if he was living a sinful lifestyle, you want him to have a relationship with Jesus so he can change. But sometimes people don't want to see you change because they don't want to see you made better. So they would prefer for you to stay in that state where you were broken, where you were sinful, where you were uh, where you were in um, promiscuous relationships, or where you were denying the faith. Some people would prefer to see you in that broken state. But Jesus wants to make you whole. And so don't worry about your haters or your naysayers or those who are skeptics um, that have uh, negative things to say about God changing you to be better, be made better in his image, transforming you to um, carry the glory of God. Focus on Jesus. Keep your focus on him and let him deal with them. All right. Let's get in. the third thing I want to point out um, that that the third thing we're going to point out four things. OK, the third thing is coming from verse eight. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. Now, this is honorable because the Bible says that it's easier um, to for a, a camel to, to go the eye of a needle um, than for um, a rich man to enter into heaven. And and also that it's, it's hard to depart from your wealth. But Zacchaeus saw the value of God. He understood the value of Jesus Christ so much that he's like, I'm willing to give all of this up. And so even though God sees the purity of who we are, he sees our innocent, um, the in innocent version that he created for us to be. And even though he sees past our lifestyle that we may be presently living or that we're coming out of, there still has to be a sacrifice. You still have to be willing to give up something. So God, if I was doing this and this was on please near sight I give it away if I was um living away or behaving in a way that was not pleasing in your sight I'm willing to give that up so that I can be closer to you and he didn't do it for the people he did it for God and look at how God honors his his sacrifice verse 9 and Jesus said unto him this day is salvation come to this house for so much as he is also a son of Abraham and so even though he was living ungodly he was a child of God Many people don't know you grew up in church. Many, many people don't know that your grandmama and your mother and your father used to pray over you all the time, that you truly have a relationship with him. But sometimes life be life <laughs> and we let it life and we life right along with it. And so sometimes we can take on characteristics that are not representative 
of who it is that we truly are. And so may God restore you in the season to the pure version of you, the innocent version of you, the version of you that he created so that he can get the glory out of your life. Don't worry about the skeptics. Don't worry about the naysayers. Don't worry about your haters. If God said it, that settles it. I love you and know that Jesus loves you more. Go get everything that God has in store for you in this year of restoration. Get it all because it's, you're deserving of it. I love you. Talk to you soon.